I didn't know too much apart from having been read the stories as a child and having read them to my own daughters. Um, and I was totally fascinated by the true story behind the creation of Winnie the Pooh. And, uh, uh, and also I was a huge fan of Frank Cottrell Boyce, the writer. When uh, the audition, um, it took uh, about three months until um, it got to the last audition. Um, and uh, I think it was 12, maybe like 12 auditions in total. And I include sort of practices for the auditions. Um, but it, it got to the last one um, where I met Donald Gleason, which was amazing. Um, uh, so then uh, I did that day and um, I went back home and then we uh, went on holiday because it was summer and it finally got uh, to the last day and um, uh, the agency rung me up um, and said you've got the part. So I reacted in a way that was quite unusual. I ran outside and jumped in the pool. The cast was really nice, um, but Simon was especially really good because um, he knows how um, how kids work, <laughs> and um, he uh, he is really helpful, and um, he really helped me personally, and um, I think I have improved because of Simon. That's a lovely thing to say, but I have to say that working with Will was one of the happiest experiences I've ever had with an actor of any age, and. Uh, he was so brilliant uh, on every day of the shoot. I absolutely loved Winnie the Pooh when I was younger. I read most of the stories um, and I especially loved one where he got um, stuck in the hole or when he was going up to get the honey. Um, but uh, when I was younger, I had a toy eel, which I absolutely adored, and I'd take him everywhere I went. My parents read the stories to me, and I remember that with great affection. I think the audience um, needs to understand that uh, the film is such a beautiful film that you need to cherish every moment you spend with your family and to love everyone around you and not to be stuck on your iPhone or something and to be with everyone. Yeah, and that Winnie the Pooh became famous so quickly because after the trauma of World War I, readers everywhere needed to return to the comfort of more innocent times. Uh, and I hope, because we're in very troubled times now, that the film will have a similar impact.